All right. So, tier two. Let's see who we're going to take. Ace, Shalada, Cryo. Let's get it. All right. So, we're going to concentrate on B. B is going to be here. Uh, the longer he's here, the harder it is to complete this entire quest. Uh, we need to get rid of him as fast as possible. Just because he can one-shot you if you're not careful. We don't want any one-shots here because that's going to ruin everything, obviously. But uh, we brought Ace. Ace is going to be able to do some uh, good things for us here. Crowl as well. Um, and then obviously Charlotte, I mean, it just works out perfectly for this party right here. We got our damage dealer, we got our support, and then we have our extra support in terms of Charlotte because she does the uh, extra HP damage. So that's going to come in handy to make sure we can make the actual turn count here. So, uh, one thing in particular, when we get characters and units that can do uh, a lot more, because as the game progresses, the characters that we get seem to be a lot stronger. Okay, so I'm going to be doing some uh, different runs, probably fixing the clears that we currently have, so I'm going to have other characters to use. Some of the old characters are going to get better, um, and it won't be like my main party members that I use, uh, but they'll be used four dimensions in definitely for sure but that's just down the line though um, for now what we what we do have we have to work with what we have um, really chasing that gold plate <laughs> for your rank uh, I think after tier three you get the silver and then after tier five you get the gold so that's what I'm looking for anyway let's see what we got going on we got jackpot shot on A and the reason why I'm going after A is because because we're focusing on B as much a is not getting a lot of damage put on him, and we need to make sure we kind of keep it similar. Um, so he gets all the EXs that I can get to him. Um, only one that's a single target here. Well, single target plus splash is uh, Ace over here. So uh, he's going to be using his EX on him as much as possible. But we, like I said, we need to focus on B to get him out of here. All right, so Kral, she has her um, EX ability up right there. And as you guys can see right there, we just took almost like 9k right there. Uh, like I said, we got to get rid of him fast. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, Charlotta, she's, she's going to be really useful for this fight though, definitely for sure. Because the turn count is not really strict, but because you have a boss fight at the very at the very first end, and you're not sure how you're going to use your skills, it can kind of get that up to that point of 115 turns. So I've already tried this fight a couple times, used different uh, different party compositions, and not saying my, my units aren't good or maybe I'm not a great great player, but it just things were just coming up short. So Shalada had to be used here just because I wanted to make sure with all the breaks that we're taking, and I didn't want to use Warrior of Light just yet, but I do know Tier Three is it's going to be really useful for that fight. I brought Shalada just to do the extra damage, and she's actually proven to be pretty good. So, so far, so good so far. All right, well, we got Kral. What are we going to do right here? I think we should do a Thunder on B. Just keep, keep that damage up. All right, he's going... Oh, he's not, not, not yet. All right, so he has 33k, and he went into his Brazenly It Smirks, which means he's going to do an HP attack afterwards when he comes back around. So we got to handle this pretty good. Thankfully, we have the quick dual cast here. A is broken. You gotta focus on B for sure. Staff. Good. And then we got Ace coming in with the Great Spiral Combo. Good. He comes right back. Awesome. And Mega Burst. You're out of here. Great. So he's done. Alright, so now we can focus on A right here without having to worry about him doing the HP attacks unfortunately because uh, we already took some HP which a lot of right down there but we're good 34k not bad for a lot of it. Shot, shot get damage 71k All right, Ray of Hope here we give him some extra brave so he won't break us here good and there's your lot of Hmm. 
of the crystal here, which should be good. Come back in with the crystal wave. We should get him down to red pretty soon. Okay, not bad. He's in red now. So he's down to the last 25% of his HP, so that's good. That's a good thing right there. Well, I would say 15%, not 25. All right. So quick dual cast here. Which, so like I was saying, the reason why I brought um, Cryo is, is just because she is a unit that even though she's out of skills, you know, her EX ability helps out a lot because it provides that brave for your party members that are maybe out of skills or whatnot. And so as we get to the very end, um, that's going to come in handy <laughs> for sure. All right, so now, which pretty much only adds, we should be able to clear these guys pretty easily uh, with HP attacks plus. Uh, not really too many skills just because it's not worth it. But as long as you have the units, the right units to bring, and if they do the, the right amount of damage, we should be good. Okay. Perfect. So B's out of here, and A and C are left and are already in the red, so that means we're good to go with just an HP attack plus. And maybe another HP attack from Shabbat. Not bad. Alright, so moving on to wave 3 now. Which is another add ADS. Um, we should be able to take them out pretty easily, like I said, with HP attacks. We gotta watch our buff though, because if we're not careful, uh, we will lose um, Ace's buff and then we'll start from the very beginning, and we don't wanna do that. So, one thing in particular Dimensions N has definitely showed me or, told, or taught me to pay closer attention to the buffs that I currently have on my units. I mean, I have beforehand, but like, you really, there's no room for mistakes. I mean, you, you got a hundred and something turns, and at, when you're in turn 80, turn, turn 90, after like 15, 20 minutes, you want to make sure you have the, the right stuff going on. So it can be easily, it can, it can easily be like devastating to like, oh my gosh, I just missed that one turn. You know, so you got to be careful. Looks like we take him out here with HP attack plus plus. We still got five turns on his uh, Suzuku buff, I believe it is what it's called. Maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? All right, going in. And Cryo, let's do Thunder Plus. Yeah. Mm, let's go with A right here because B's are pretty much already done. So. I think we can probably go after A a little bit. We're just, che just checking the skills to make sure we're good. If I do a different attack, I'll be able to get my uh, buffs back up. I just want to make sure. Sorry. All right, so A's almost out of here. All right, then we'll follow up with that with B. You're done as well. All right, so now, I had to restart. <laughs> I had to restart because uh, things happen. I couldn't get the rotation right. Shalada, um, her her buff was going off. Um, the crystal regeneration buff, I believe, um, was going off at the wrong points, and I couldn't get the rotation right just to make sure it stayed and we were able to reapply when it came down to it. So definitely want to make sure we can we can take care of that now. Let's see, so we're both going to Charlotta and Crow. We're going to Hurl Staff from B right here. And then we're, we're really going to focus on B though. B is going to be focused on the most part just because he has that that attack that can kind of, I wouldn't say paralyze you, but it kind of gets you um, in a point where you can't attack. So essentially it's a paralyzed, plus he, gets, plus he will get extra brave. We don't want that to happen, so we're really going to focus on him. A, on the other hand, he's pretty much stationary. He just does a couple of attacks. A speed attack every now and then just, just to kill you if you're not careful. Um, but we're, like I said, we're going to take care of both of them, but we're going to really focus on B, though. Alright, HP attack plus plus. Good. 
Oh, just three brave. Are you serious? <laughs> we could have broken. It's all right though. Hmm. Maybe I should go after. Maybe A, maybe? Who knows? All right, so HP is at plus plus on A right there. And B is going to get off his Feather Cologne, which he's going to give for Charm, unfortunately, to Shalada. But we should be good, though. Uh, I'm not really too worried. Because A is going to do his Cell Beam. Uh, Shalada didn't get broken. That's good. Um, but we've got to take that Brave down for sure. So great Spiral Combo Plus here. Not bad. Good damage over there. And I'm trying to keep... Um, <laughs> trying to keep... Uh, Ace and his yellow card is because it does so much damage. This is, it seems to be his best card. Oh, you missed. Awesome. Um, it seems to be his best card, but at the same time, uh, he's just doing damage the way I want him to do, and hopefully he, he can keep that up. Because the more damage he does, the better it is for us. All right, so Tranquil Light here just so we don't get a break. We don't want to take too many more breaks. <laughs> We've taken a lot so far. Alright, so quick dual cast, great. We have the extra brave right there. 54k, not bad. Unfortunately, we took some HP damage, but I think we should be fine. Uh, since Charlotta has the HP regeneration, we should be good. Alright, crystal core wave. biggest thing in this fight that guys is to keep that crystal core wave uh, buff up as much as possible when we do an extra damage to the enemies as much as possible for sure and then if you have your c65s they're going to come in handy because it's going to let corral do extra damage um to the enemies down the line so okay right. so looks like kind of had a pickle here we've got an all attack happening with a B's going after Ace over there. Okay, right, so Aeroa. He's going to rise. He's going to be doing his clone attack again. All right, so they're getting out of hand <laughs> once again. So we got to make sure we can tame this as much as possible. Can break A, hopefully. Thunder Plus. Yes, we get a break. 56k, not bad. Ace coming with jackpot shot. Awesome. 78k. Pretty good damage. So, alright, let's see where we're at now. Um, we need to continue on B. I'm gonna do a rave hope here. It's kind of protect us from the feather shot. Oh, feather shots is another all attack you can do. Forgot about that one. Um, so we're pretty good on that. We didn't get any breaks, so that's good. Uh, let's see. Let's go with the hurl staff. Brave's not too high. Um, I know I should be attacking A with Shalala too, um, but A is easy to break right now because he doesn't have that much HP now, so he hasn't put on his extra hidden buff in terms of his defense. So we should be fine. And then Crow coming in with a quick dual cast. 6,000. <laughs> 18k per one. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of damage, but the reason why we did that is for the actual buff from the crystal. So the extra brave is going to be helping us out a lot for sure. HP attack plus plus. Pretty good damage. Um, we should be fine for now. Come back with the hurl staff. Good. Alright, so now. B is up, A is up in terms of Brave. We can break him, hopefully, in the way we want it to go. Uh, I don't think that's gonna break. We'll see. Uh, we kinda got the break we wanted it to go. Let's see, let's see what we can do. Maybe, maybe Ray of Hope. Uh, no, we just do Brave Attack. Okay, Onslaught, more Brave. More HP damage on Shalada. Oh 
man, we took another break. Unfortunately, the breaks are happening. But at the same time, we sh we're we still good. We can still mitigate it. We can still bring it down with Chris Core Wave here. All right, so what are we gonna do today? Let's do an HP attack on... It's going B. All right, so B's almost out of here. I'm getting close to the red, not red yet. Um, but we gotta make sure we take care of A as well. Mm. Actually, let's, let's summon. That's what we're gonna do right here. Summon here, we can get B closer to being out of here. Um, but focusing on A to do that extra damage with Ace for sure. Um, around this amount of turns, we're at 85 turns, what? Uh, this amount of turns right here. We can start hitting the damage up as much as possible. Um, the turn ratio is not where I want it to be, though, unfortunately. I'd rather have Cryo next after Ace, so then Cryo can use her uh, Ray of Hope to give Ray back to the party. But, you know, things happen. It never happens the way you want it to happen. And these fights are long, so I'm not going to sit here and try to make a run that's going to be the best. I'm just going to clear it, and then I'm going to show you guys how I clear it. <laughs> um, later down the line, if we have more characters out there and more resources to use, uh, I'll definitely come back and, and showcase these fights. Uh, but for now, I'm definitely going after just the clears. Let's attack up here with Ace so we get closer to the end. HP type plus plus here. Alright. I'm gonna hold off on using any more of our uh, skill two right there. That's Aurora. That's a two. That's a Risen. Not worried about that at all. Nobody got charmed just now. <laughs> All right, crystal. And we have another crystal wave happening here. It happened perfectly though. They got out of hand just a moment, just for uh, Charlotte to have her um, EX ready to go. So that worked out perfectly in my favor. All right, HP attack plus break on A. Good. Hmm. We're looking out for B. Strike pot shot. Hopefully we get yellow card back. Yes, we got yellow card back. Awesome. Oh, we took another break though. Unfortunately, we took another break. And we can't let him get off that. <laughs> You're not getting that off at all. Thunder plus. With the break. Awesome. Another break right there. Brave sack came in handy. That's good. Ooh, man. These guys are getting out of hand right now. I'm gonna have to do it, I think. Baseball combo plus. And we get the break we wanted it to go. Alright, so that's good. Alright, so now crit dual cast here. Set up perfectly the way we want it to go because now he's in the red. And Shalada's next. Kind of go in. Maybe with the C65. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Out of the crystal. Get our buffs up. Crystal gen. Good damage. Alright. Mega burst. Good damage, Ace. Awesome. Use Ray of Hope here just to give it a little extra brave on top of what we got. Perfect. Make sure that Crystal Core Wave buff is still up there as well, out of the creation. And uh, I don't think I need to use that. We'll see. 
Chris Jen. He's almost out of here, guys. He's almost out of here. We're at 103 turns, just about in just a moment. And we get the jackpot shot ready. Awesome, this is working out perfectly. All right, so he's pretty much done. And the crowd with the HP attack plus plus takes us right out, awesome. So that was my run of tier two of the Dimensions Inn. Um, this team is pretty pretty well organized. Um, you got your crowd, you got your Shalada, you got Ace being the damage dealer. And you have your two supports right there. What else can you ask for? Uh, we got the perfect. That's all that matters. <laughs> 405k. Just barely made it with 13 breaks. I'll take it though. You know, things happen. Um, obviously, we're going to have more characters coming out in the future. And I'm definitely going to go after them and do some reclears to get Cryo out of there. But it is what it is. <sighs> Man, what a fight. Anyway, guys, it's going to wrap up the video. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and a comment. If you guys are new here, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon for notifications of my next video. I've been KDG. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Thanks again for watching. And remember to walk tall, my friends. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.